Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac Tuna Christians and for No Stylers, and today we're having a look at Art Studio again. And we've got a couple of little tricks that we can do to make this work a whole lot better. Now, the first one is that we've got some gestures, okay? So, for instance, you might be zoomed in onto your drawing there, and you want to get quickly back to the 100% view. Four finger tap onto the screen of your iPad, and you're back there again. And it works both ways, whether it's uh, zoomed in or zoomed out. Four finger tap, and there you go. So that's kind of nice. And also, if you do a three finger swipe upwards, I've set that so that it brings up my color palette. That is not the default one, but that's the one that I prefer. And also, if I do a three finger down on that there, it brings up the drawing mode. And I can choose the type of drawing I want to do. And one thing I noticed on this as well is that if you've got this drawing mode and you set that you're having it with some smoothing on there, then you are quite likely to have some sort of lag when you're drawing your lines. So you'll be having your finger on one side of the screen and the line that you're drawing is following along behind. And you might not like that, and for the most part you won't actually need that smoothing. And this other tool here for drawing mode, say if you want to draw some rectangular things, this is quite useful. So let's go to our drawing tools here, let's uh, see we're drawing a pen. And I'll set it with a black colour, so we can see it. And let's just draw a square. It's drawn with that brush, so whichever brush you're using. So let's go into this brush here, let's see what we've got. So in this case here we're going to be using one of these uh, fancy brushes. Let's use that one. If I draw a rectangle now using that brush. So you can see we've got that brush being used when I'm drawing that rectangle. So in the drawing tool, if I three fingers going down, get in the drawing mode, and I do this with a round one of these, you get the same sort of thing happening with the round tool as well. So that's quite nice, isn't it? So that's quite useful if you need to draw some shapes that are a particular sort of uh, rectangle or square or something. And we've got this one here, basically doing straight lines, and it's following it round. And then at the end I can say finish polygon or close and finish polygon. So if I've gone round and not quite got to the point where it closes up, then I can close it and there you go, that's polygon is finished. So there's a couple of neat tools. And the other thing to know is that you can also do a gesture on the screen there. If I do three fingers to the right, it'll do a redo, except there's nothing to redo there. So if I go to the left, it'll undo. So I'm getting it to undo all these different lines that I've just made there. Now if I go to the right with three fingers, it will redo. So quite a useful little tool that there. So I'll come back out of that there. I can keep going back until I've got the drawing back as it was when I opened it up there. The other thing I want to show you on this particular one is how to make yourself a new brush. It took me ages to find out how to do this and what we need to do is we need to go to our file menu and start with new. And I'm not going to save that. And we're going to choose an image based upon a Max custom brush. So let's choose that one there. And we'll go for one with a uh, transparent background. That's the one you need for making a brush. So here we are with our transparent background, and I'm just going to draw a couple of shapes on there, and we'll use that as our brush. So we'll have that there, and that there. We'll have a big sort of dot at the end of it. It's going to be a lovely brush, this isn't it, eh? And we'll have another couple of lines coming in there. And just to uh, be silly with this here, let's choose a brush here. Or maybe even a square one. Let's go for a square one just for a change. It's coming a bit sort of uh, opaque, isn't it? Let's make it a bit darker. Let's make it a bit bigger too. So that's our brush. So this is going to be the brush that we're going to export out, and that's the trick of it. You have to export it out, so let's go to the export. If you could just now click on the like button, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks. And I see there's nothing there possible for exporting out now, so what we need to do is go to the ping file format, and now we can add the custom brushes. And we'll give the brush a name. So it's been saved in the custom brushes folder. And now we can use it for painting with. So we'll do just that. So let's go into our brushes there. So we'll use this one here. Click and hold down. Instead of select for current tool, we'll go to our custom brushes at the bottom there. And then that one there, see it says 330. That's the one we've just made. Now it doesn't really sort of look like much yet because we haven't done any of the settings. But you can see on the screen that a bit at the top there that it's got some bit of what it looks like. Let's go down to this here, turn the wetness off on that there. As you can see, we're starting to get a bit of a uh, bit of the shape that we made there, and we need to take the opacity up on it so we can see it a bit better. So there you go, that's our brush, and we can make other changes to it as well. Um, we could change the angle of it as well. 
we could put a bit of jitter on it so that it spreads it out a bit and a bit of jitter for spacing and a bit of jitter opacity. So let's have a look and see what this brush is going to look like. Let's put a colour on there. We'll go for a red. And now if I just draw on there, we've got squid-like things that are happening all across our screen. And we've just made ourselves a nice new brush. Change colour. We can see it a bit better now. Taking the opacity up. It's still a bit light looking, that brush, but you see it does work. So there you go. That's how to make new brushes in Art Studio. And we've also seen how you can use some of the gestures there to control your application. So this is Dave Allen. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now. Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos. Here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.